Cher délégué, mesdames et messieurs. Dear delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to this award ceremony for the UNESCO and Japan Prize on Education for Sustainable Development. 2016. This is the second edition of this prize, which was created by uh, the Executive Board of UNESCO in 2014. And the first edition last year proved to be a great success. This year, we have seen twice as many nominations as last year. And we're very happy indeed to be able to welcome you all here today to meet are uh, three award winners uh, to tell them uh, just how much uh, we admire their extraordinary work. I should like to start by giving the floor to the Director General of UNESCO, uh, Ms. Irina Bokova, for her opening speech. Your Excellency Kunisato, Ambassador and Permanent Delegate of Japan to UNESCO, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I see a full room. It's wonderful. And I would like to invite all these young colleagues and, uh, who are here maybe to join, to move forward, because there are space, come here forward, sit on the place of some of the countries. They would not uh, object it. <laughs> I think it will be a good addition, a young addition also to their delegations. I think it's a very good sign of recognition, of appreciation, a good mark for what we are doing today jointly with Japan for the second edition of the UNESCO Japan Prize on Education for Sustainable Development. And of course, my gratitude goes first and foremost to you, Ambassador Kunisato and the government of Japan for generously funding the prize and for the continuous support of UNESCO. I do vividly remember the first edition of the prize. Last year, during the General Conference, just two months after the agreement on the Agenda 2030 on Sustainable Development, and it was a month before the Paris Agreement. And as I said at that time, and also I would like to emphasize again today, I believe these two should be seen as a single, as a single agenda, a new global and transformative agenda for people, for prosperity, for peace, and for the planet. These agreements were struck between governments and reflect new commitment to building a better world for all, to leave no one behind. Political leadership at the highest level is essential and we know this. But we know also the lesson expressed in the UNESCO Constitution. I believe these should be seen once again as an imperative, as a responsibility for us. Allow me to remind you of the words of the preamble. A peace based exclusively upon the political and economic arrangements of governments would not be a peace which could secure the unanimous lasting and sincere support of the peoples of the world, and that the peace must be therefore funded. It is not all to fail upon the intellectual and moral solidarity of mankind. I believe this vision has never been so relevant. For lasting impact, the historic agreement of 2015, or rather agreements of the 2015 must be embedded in societies. They must be owned by individual women and men. This is, I believe, the importance of education for sustainable development. More than ever, we need new forms of solidarity with each other. We need new bases of harmony with the planet. We need new ways of seeing, being, and acting in and with the world. For lasting impact, the historic agreements of 2015 should be implemented. They should be supported. This is the importance of this UNESCO Japan Prize, to shine light on individuals making a difference, 
to reward women and men changing the world from the ground up. This is part of the Global Action Programme on Education for Sustainable Development, UNESCO launched in 2014 as a follow-up to the groundbreaking United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable Development adopted at the landmark conference in Aichi, Nagoya. Japan has played a leading role all throughout. And let me once again express my satisfaction at the first edition of the UNESCO Japan Prize, which showcased the work of three outstanding organizations from Germany, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Indonesia. This year, nominations increased by 100% with 120 submissions by 64 member states and 10 NGOs in official partnership with UNESCO. Let me take this opportunity to thank the jury, chaired by Mr. Roscar Motomura, for their support and for identifying three projects that are breaking new ground. Mesdames et Messieurs, notre... Ladies and gentlemen, our uh, first award winner is the Center for Community Regeneration and Development in Cameroon, which is being recognized for its program for the integration of sustainable development education in schools and communities throughout the country. As part of, these, uh, of this program, young educators um, have a part to play in schools and in uh, trainee uh, community centers so as to enable marginalized young people, women and uh, indigenous groups uh, in communities working in difficult circumstances which are uh, difficult to reach out to uh, to help re struggle against poverty and protect the environment. Whole families are trained on the themes of sustainable development particularly intelligent agriculture and climate adaptation. And since it was inaugurated five years ago, this program has already supported more than 40,000 students, 260 teachers, and 3,600 families. It is a program which has enabled us to go beyond improving the well-being of people, bringing about changes in thinking, and this is what makes everything else possible. Our second laureate is the Okayama ESD Promotion Commission from Japan awarded for its holistic Okayama ESD project. This impressive whole city approach involving a range of sectors and actors is a locally rooted example of managing a city sustainability. In this framework, citizens of Okayama can take part in activities and workshops in community learning centers, schools, parks, shopping malls, People of all ages can meet and exchange in ESD cafes and in different sessions with university students who are encouraged to undertake ESD internships with local NGOs. So far, 150,000 people have participated in activities led by groups and organizations from the Okayama ESD Promotion Commission. Our third laureate is the National Union of Students from the United Kingdom, honored for its nationwide change and engagement program, Green Impact. Led by student mentors, this target university staff to make their workplace greener while helping them cut costs. It covers an array of themes, from well-being to traditional environmental management, ranging from simple, simple actions such as advice on double-sided printing to setting up ethical credit unions. Participating departments gain yearly awards for sustainability actions like creating a community garden. Having reached more than 100,000 university students and staff, Green Impact is already being adapted by institutions outside higher education, such as hospitals and fire brigades. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
Each of these initiatives is innovative. Each sets a powerful example of local action for positive change. Each of them can be taken elsewhere, scaled up for global and lasting impact. I see these as foundations for the intellectual and moral solidarity of humanity put forward in the UNESCO Constitution. In this spirit, I wish to congratulate each laureate and thank them for the inspiring examples they are setting. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, uh, Madam. And uh, the next uh, speaker is Excellency Kuni Sato, the ambassador of the permanent de Japanese delegation here at UNESCO, who will say a few words of uh, congratulations. And uh, I will say the same thing if you um, are not doing it uh, for uh, the sake of your health, please come and uh, seat yourselves. Um, there are still some vacant uh, seats. Um, Madam uh, Director General uh, Irina, uh, Excellencies, uh, uh, dear colleagues, uh, it is uh, a great honor for me to celebrate this uh, uh, second awarding of the UNESCO Japan Prize on ESD today. Let me first express my heartfelt congratulations to the three laureates, namely Center for Community Regeneration and Development from Cameroon, National Union of Students UK, uh, from the UK, and uh, Okayama ESD Promotion Commission from Japan. The prize was established in 2014 on the occasion of UNESCO World Conference on ESD held in Japan. It is to honor and to showcase outstanding and innovative ESD projects and programs. The aim is to encourage active participation in ESD and to disseminate a good practice all over the world. ESD is clearly anchored in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. ESD will surely play a critical role in supporting the entire agenda as it is a powerful tool for building the capacity of each and every person which will form the basis to achieve all SDGs. Common among the activities of the three laureates is their outstanding enormous capacity and commitment to reach out onto wide-ranging and diverse segments of society to help build a sustainable society through their action in environmental, social, and economic areas. Their exemplary activities will expand and enhance the networks of collaborative efforts to address the global sustainability agenda through ESD and to realize sustainable society in our planet. Um, congratulations again to the laureates and uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, uh, Madam. Before we uh, present the prize, we would like to show you a brief four-minute video of uh, the uh, three winning projects. The UNESCO Japan Prize showcases and rewards outstanding projects in the field of Education for Sustainable Development, or ESD. In 2015, the prize was first awarded to three organizations from Indonesia, Guatemala and El Salvador, and Germany.
The three winners of the 2016 edition are the Center for Community Regeneration and Development from Cameroon, the Okiyama ESD Promotion Commission from Japan, and the National Students Union from the United Kingdom. Each organization receives an award of 50,000 US dollars. The Center for Community Regeneration and Development is awarded for its program Integrated ESD Schemes in Schools and Communities in Cameroon. This civil society organization empowers people in marginalized communities socially and economically while fostering environmental sustainability. The youth-led program works both in public schools and through informal community learning centers. ESD educators give training to children, youth, women and indigenous groups on themes as diverse as leadership, health, family planning, information technology and climate change. It's not possible to see within communities more than 10,000 of women having to know their rights. The Okayama ESD Promotion Commission in Japan was chosen for its Okayama ESD project, which involves the whole of Okayama City. The project offers various activities and trainings organized in schools, community learning centers, parks, shopping malls, or in places close to nature. Citizens can take part in ESD cafe sessions or undertake an ESD internship with a local NGO. The project also initiated the annual ESD Okayama Award to reward the good practices of local communities. The National Union of Students UK receives the prize for its Green Impact Programme. It enables accredits and awards university departments for sustainability efforts while helping them reduce costs. Managed by student mentors, the program is aimed at university staff and covers themes from environmental protection to well-being and happiness to ethical financial management. Green Impact has affected UEL hugely positively. The criteria have given people very specific actions to do in the areas of transport, waste, energy, procurement, biodiversity, and really giving people something to aim for when they're greening their departments. Having reached more than 100,000 university students and staff, the Green Impact Framework is already being adapted by institutions outside higher education, such as hospitals and fire brigades. The UNESCO Japan Prize on ESD helps implement the Global Action Programme on ESD to scale up local and regional ESD actions worldwide. Thank you. We will now the awarding process, and for that I would like to uh, call upon Mr. Tang Kian, Assistant Director General of Education, who will be the Master of Ceremony. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, so let's, uh, let's ask to move to the awarding of the prizes. But for this, I would like to invite our Director General and Madam Ambassador to move to the left-hand side of the podium. I would like now to announce the three laureates of 2016 UNESCO Japan Prize on Education for Sustainable Development. From Cameroon, the Center for Community Regeneration and Development, represented by its director. And each laureate will receive a prize diploma 
an award and a check of 50,000 U.S. dollars. The second laureate is the Okayama EST Promotion Commission from Japan, represented by its chairperson, Professor Hirofimi Abe. And now I'd like to invite the third prize winner from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland to come to the stage, the National Union for Students UK. Congratulations to all three winners of the 2016 UNESCO Prize, Japan Prize on ESD. Now I would like to uh, invite each laureate to make a statement in the name of their organization. Thank you very much. It is another defining moment and opportunity for CREAT Cameroon to add to the voices and actions of civil society actors in the implementation of the Global Action Program on ESD, and a call for collaboration from different stakeholders and concrete engagement of underrepresented communities across Cameroon and Africa. The ceremony today is an important forum, not only for the celebration of winning organizations, but an opportunity for intensive planning, consolidation, and expansion of result-oriented ESD interventions, which cut across the five major actions of the Global Action Program. As an organization, and one of the three, winning organi three winners of this laudable prize, we pledge to make UNESCO and its member states proud by planning and implementing programs whose results will be shared globally. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Okayama ESD Promotion Commission and all members working on Okayama ESD project, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to UNESCO and the Government of Japan for this great prize. We have been conducting ESD under the framework of the Regional Centers of Expertise on ESD, which was inaugurated by the United Nations University in 2005. Therefore, I'd like to share this honorable recognition with the UNU and the global RC community. We are very proud that the international jury of the prize has highly appreciated our whole city approach, involving various sectors and actors, especially based in community learning centers, uh, which is called Kominkan in Japanese. In addition to the locally rooted activities, we have been enhancing 
the international cooperation with community learning centers in Asia. We would like to take advantage of this great opportunity to, en to enhance our efforts and to disseminate our practices widely across the world. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimashita. The student movement has always been at the forefront of social change. To create a just and sustainable future, we now need substantial change in tertiary education. Globally, less than 3% of people go to university, but 80% of leaders have been to university. Our unsustainable society is a result of poor leadership, and because our universities shape our leaders, some of the responsibility must sit with them. The vision for our sustainability work is simple. All students, regardless of what they are studying, leave tertiary education equipped and motivated to make society a better place. We dedicate this award to our students' unions and all the other participants in Green Impact who have contributed to its success. We thank UNESCO and the Government of Japan for this award. Thank you. Congratulations again uh, for the three laureates. Now, if you are interested in knowing more about their work tomorrow morning between 9 and 10 at the UNESCO restaurant on the seventh floor, there is a, a breakfast meeting uh, arranged with them. So if you'd like to uh, reserve a seat, please do contact us. Before I cl close, I'd like to thank the orchestra of the École Internationale Bilingue, Victor Hugo of uh, Paris, a member of the UNESCO ASP Net School, for the background music, the beautiful background music they provide. I would like to give them a big applause. Now, let me invite you all to join us for lunch reception, waiting for us uh, just outside of this room. The local, organic local food is provided by the La Table de Cana, a French solidarity project supporting the social inclusion of disadvantaged youth, and there are generous sushi provided also by the delegation of Japan. So, bon appétit. <laughs>